good morning how's everybody doing today today is another in the car chatting video with you guys for the most part i might log in later if um something really interesting comes up or i get a package or something like that or if i want to share something later on in my room but for now we're in our car um i had mentioned in the vlog yesterday or the day before yesterday that my my grandparents were coming this weekend they're gonna stay with us this weekend they got they got to my house really early so it's already loud and you know it is what it is my my grandma is, is kind of deaf you know and they're elderly and then my mom and her sister my my aunt by nature are loud spoken women anyways so it's a little bit loud i can't really record in there I could, I mean, technically I could, but I, w I don't want to be uncomfortable with you guys and having that, you know, the, the talking in the background and all that. So, uh, today is uh, mostly in the car video, and I do want to chat with you about a few things. Yesterday, if you saw my vlog, you saw that I tried for the first time the foundation from Shantikai with uh, the sunscreen below that. And it was a little bit flaking, a little bit, um, a little bit weird on, like, my forehead and on my nose. And I was flaking a little bit, so I wasn't sure if it was the sunscreen, the primer, or if it was the moisturizer, or if it was my skin. So I tried it again this morning without moisturizer. Like I, I cleansed my face as usual. I did try these little towels from Elements that I've used before. I've used various times. It's supposed to be like an exfoliating, so I thought, well, maybe it's my skin. I don't know. So I exfoliated a little, a very, it's a mild exfoliator this morning after my cleanser. And, and I didn't any put any, any moisturizer because I was thought let me try it without the moisturizer So and I, I put everything else as normal. I put the, the sunscreen and I put the um, The foundation all that as usual and It's a big 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 difference. I see no flakiness. I need I saw just a little bit Like dryness patch right here in the crease of my nose but the rest of my skin is flawless. I see no, no shredding, no, no creasiness, no dry patches. Just that one next to my nose. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. So it was either my skin that needed some exfoliating, but or it was a moisturizer. And I think it was a moisturizer. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that because I might have put on the the primer and the moisturizer had it fully fully like dried so i'm gonna try it again gonna, of course i'm gonna continue using this foundation because it's lovely if i feel like i have nothing on very light very natural and and it gives me this really nice glow i have nothing else on my face just that i didn't put any blush no highlighter nothing else just my foundation because i really want to test it out and it's it's wonderful it's just a wonderful wonderful foundation so what i want to talk to you about this morning i did i watched a video by Teresa is dead. If you don't know who she is, well, I, I think you know who she is, but she is super hilarious. She does have a garbage mouth. She says it herself. She has a garbage mouth. Um, and but she's super. She's hilarious. You have to see. Last night I saw her video of her her story in the container store. Oh my god, you guys, that's super hilarious. You guys have to check it out. Anyway, she did this video a couple of videos ago. Brands that she discovered during 2020. And I thought, you know, that's that's a good that's a good idea because there have been a few brands that I've discovered in 2020. Some that I've never heard before, and others that I knew what they were. I knew the brands, but I had never really tried them. So, so I thought that would be something interesting to to do to share with you. And I'm just gonna concentrate on luxury because I don't remember any new drugstore uh, brand that I've discovered in 2020. Um, I don't think I have and if I do remember one then I'll let you know but luxury yes I have a few like I knew for example Chanel I knew the brand of course I, I knew about the, the perfumes but not the beauty I had a perfume by Chanel I, I still have it it's the um, Gabrielle I have that perfume it smells really nice and so I knew the brand I just didn't know the makeup brand and I've never tried any of its products and I tried their foundation is amazing this thing is moving and I'm so sorry about that I have to find something to put on my dashboard um, their foundation is amazing their what else I have their their dual dual lipsticks that they have the matte and then you have the lip gloss on top all oh, those are wonderful um, what else I, I like from them the um, do I have their mascara I don't remember how their mascara I don't know I don't know if I 
have their mascara but i know their foundation is amazing it's one of my favorite if not my favorite foundation of all time what else uh another brand that i've discovered was tom ford their i have their quad one of their quads it's beautiful beautiful shades a beautiful pigment easy to apply just gorgeous and i also have their eyeliner but i haven't yet tried it so i have to play around with that one i would like to try his foundation but i haven't tried it yet maybe one day i will so what, what other higher brand i have okay the dior i have their their quince one of their quince and their mascara is amazing it's wonderful and i I knew, I knew of Dior, of course. I have their perfume, J'adore. I've had it for years. And it's one of my favorite like um, perfumes like for nighttime, for special events. Like it's, it's that kind of perfume. But their mascara is amazing. I love it as well. What else have... What other high-end brand I've tried that I've liked? Okay, recently, I've tried Chantecaille. Like, I've heard of the brand. I didn't know the brand. That was new for me in 2020. I heard of it because of, of Michelle Wong's video. And then a friend of mine, Jen, she also... She posted pictures of it. So I discovered the brand in 2020, and I'm loving it. I love their idea, the way that their, their philanthropy, that they help animals that are in, in danger of extinction or, in, or are in danger of, of poaching and all that. I love that. Their, their concept but I also love their makeup their foundation as you know I'm wearing it today it's amazing their, their I have tried their camouflage stilo their, their concealer their corrector I should say um, and it's really good their, everything I tried their their mascara the lipsticks I have it on the mascara as well their eyeshadows everything is amazing and again the idea behind it and it's everything about them I love everything about them it's a family owned business or at least it started as a family owned business everything I like about that brand it's amazing I love it another higher end maybe not as high end that maybe I don't know if you consider it higher end I think you do um, like Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath I didn't know about them and I don't maybe I did know about them but in 2019 but I didn't know anything of them and since I started getting the palettes I'm not sure if I got my first palette by Natasha Denona in 2020 I think I got it in 2019 but I but I think 2020 has been the year that I've had the chance and the time and dedication to find out these new brands these brands and all that not only because of the, of the pandemic that's not the reason but the reason because I started my channel in December of last year and yeah I wore makeup before of course but not as dedicated as I do now because of my channel and I I've been trying a lot of new things in 2020 because of my channel so I think 2020 has been the year of me trying a bunch of stuff so Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palettes you know that I love them the glam the the sunset um what's the other one the little mini Zendo ones that was beautiful every other palettes that I've tried I've loved I don't have all of them I have like three but uh, oh, the bronze palette I love as well. All those palettes I just I just love. And Pat McGrath, of course, I have one of her eyeshadow palettes, and it's just amazing, amazing pigment and her her shimmers. I'm I'm not sure they're shimmers. They're like chromatic colors. They're just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Uh, what other high-end brands? Okay, I've discovered, but I think that was at the end of 19. No, or beginning of 2020. Like, I discovered, like, Wayne Goss's and Scott Barnes's. Like, I have heard of Wayne Goss before and his brushes, but I've never purchased any of it. But then he came out with his palette, his first palette, and the lipsticks and the lip liners, and I jumped in, and I love, I love that eyeshadow palette. I, I, I talked about it in my fall favorites palette. Beautiful palette, beautiful pencils. They work so beautifully, and the lipsticks are amazing as well i didn't get the second palette but um i've heard mixed reviews about it so i'm not sure if i'll get it eventually in the future and i have one of his brushes and they're really good too i just haven't purchased any more of his brushes uh what other brand oh i mentioned scott barnes um i knew i kind of knew about him because i knew that he was JLo's makeup artist but i didn't really know his work to be completely honest i didn't know his work but then i discovered his it was his eyeshadow palette uh it's called snatural snatural and the and his brushes oh my god those are my favorite brushes his brushes and sigma brushes so far are my favorite because i still i want to try the sonia g's new the new set she came out with i want to i want to get them i'm thinking of it i'm getting them because i've heard so many good things about it uh but scott barnes um eyeshadow the the brushes are amazing and it's natural he has a foundation too that is really good but it's very 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 glowy um if you know him he has his phrase um glowy and hoey like he likes all that glam but his makeup is more for like the red carpet kind of thing so his his foundation is really really glowy really really nice 
and his mascara is good. So everything that I've tried of him, I, ha I can't say there's one thing that I don't like. Same thing with Wing Gloss. Everything that I've tried, I've loved. What other brands? Um, let me think. I'm trying to look through my mentally through my. This is something I should have done in my room. I know, but I, I couldn't. I wasn't able to do it today, and I I wanted to have you know talk to you guys and have something to talk about in my car. So that was I think that was a good subject. What other brands that I okay? Um, oh, I discovered. I really discovered. Like, there's this brand Estee Lauder. Well, this brand. The, the, the brand Estee Lauder. Of course, I knew about them. My mom's favorite perfume is from Estee Lauder, and I've always purchased it for her. And I have seen their makeup, but I haven't really like tried it on me and I tried their foundation and I'm not a huge fan of the foundation I've heard really good reviews about it but it was a little bit drying for me I'm not saying it's a bad foundation it's, it's probably an amazing foundation for people with, with normal to oily skin but for me it was very drying so I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, of that makeup hourglass there I've tried their their mascara was I think the first thing I tried by them I love that mascara some people didn't like it because the wand was like really long like thin I liked it I like that. I like that mascara and it, it stays on the whole day. I reviewed it before in my Mascara Mondays. Hourglass and their mascara and also their their, their ambient palette. You know, you know, you guys know I've, I've seen it. Yeah, I've used it. I love that palette. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. They, they are getting some negative comments about not having enough, not a, a wide uh, enough wide range of of shades, or they're not accommodating for deeper skins. But I'm talking about my point of view of my of what I've seen and when I'm using it, and it's an amazing product. So yeah, there's other things that I'm I oh another brand that I want to try that I want to try that I tried and it's not makeup it's 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 hair care is Jizu. I've spoken about it in the last month or two. I love 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 love. I already have a backup in my cart that I want to get. That's why I remember because I, I'm just I just passed by close. I'm close to an Ulta, and they don't sell at Ulta. They sell it at Sephora. But I just remembered it. I have in my backup cart. I have the whole set: the shampoo, conditioner, the mask, the perfume, and the oil. It's just amazing. Uh, let me just show you. Well, I, I'm not gonna take off my hair now because die. There's an old guy in the middle of the street. I'm gonna get ran over. I haven't washed my hair. It's gonna be a week already. Tomorrow. And and it feels like I washed it yesterday. It is so, 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 so nice. And I've only applied the oil twice this week. Because I've been lazy. Why lie? I've been very lazy. It's just amazing. And I think it's a higher end brand because it's, it's a little pricey. You know, shampoo's like 30 something dollars. And the condition is another 30 something dollars. So it's not drugstore makeup for sure. And they sell it at Sephora or directly with the brand. They don't sell it at Ulta. Not that I, I don't think so, not yet. So what other brands have I, maybe I missed something and then something that I really like and I feel bad because I haven't, from Dior, um, I remember now, I did buy their Air Flash foundation but I haven't tested it out yet. So that's something I had to test out. Uh, what other, mm, let me think, what other higher end? I think there's other brands that I, I can't remember. If I remember any more, I'll write it down and I'll get back with you guys later and talk about it. I'm already getting to work. So, um, if I remember anything, I'll, I'll just log in again, get on the camera again to later and talk to you about if I receive any packages I, I'll, as well, I would let you guys know. So, um, it was nice talking to you guys. I'll see you guys later. I remembered another brand, Charlotte Tilbury. How could I forget her? What I love about her was the... I did get her foundation. Her foundation is okay. Did I get her foundation? Yes, I did. I got I got one of her foundation and it's very, very nice. I remember now. It's very glowy. Very, very nice for my skin. I have two of them. I don't remember the name now. One is like a tinted one. A really lightweight one. And, and the other one is more, more medium coverage and it's amazing. I really like it. But my favorite thing is her eyeshadow palette. Her Bejeweled. That one is really, really pretty. That's another high-end luxury brand that I... I think it's luxury, right? It's not really too, too bougie. It's like in the middle, I think. I like it. It's another brand that I've, I liked and enjoy. So now I am going to say bye. Not bye. I'll see you guys later. If I don't get to talk to you again, which I doubt, but if I don't get to talk to you again, I hope you have a wonderful day thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like share everything it doesn't co it cost you a penny but it does mean a lot to me it does help me a lot and i want to appreciate um oh by the way i'm gonna make an announcement soon of a giveaway i want to do so probably tomorrow the day after tomorrow i'm gonna talk about so i'll see you guys later bye hey friends it's me again just back in my room and i just wanted to show you at the end of the day it's been about 12 hours or so that i've put on my makeup and i just want to show you how my 
the foundations performed very well there was i didn't get any cakiness nothing of that sort no dryness let me look at the mirror closely but i don't see i think it performed really well so i guess the problem was the moisturizer i gotta try to keep on playing around with it keep on trying it and see if there's anything else that might have triggered that um problem yesterday so yeah i was talking about higher higher end brands that i found in 2020 and i can't think of any more i think i mentioned all of it i'm looking at my vanity to see if anything else that i can remember but i think those are the biggest biggest brands and referring to going back to the brand chanel i i do know their perfume and the perfume the cologne that my husband wears is by chanel the chanel what's it called i'm always saying the name and now i just blur by chanel and and the one for Dior, he likes, we like both of it. Both of us like Sauvage. We like that cologne. So those are brands that, that I've known for a while. It's just that the makeup is where I recently tried out the makeup. So this is why I wanted to share with you. I'm going to get ready now to go pick up the kids. i edit this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next vlog. So stay tuned for to see what else I come up with tomorrow. I did order. I placed some orders today. I'll probably get them next week from Chantecai. Because I have an obsession. <laughs> they had a um, kind of a surprise for me. 25% sale on um, purchase of more than 175 dollars which was really good so I, I i bought a few items and i also ordered my the new set by brush set by sonia g i got that from beautylish and there's something else in my cart that i'm considering another foundation for another brand another high-end brand quite expensive actually but i'm dying to try it because i've heard really good reviews so stay tuned for that i have a lot of surprises for you guys and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day please don't forget to subscribe like comment share everything it really helps me a lot and it doesn't cost a penny so thank you so much for your support and i'll see See you soon. Good night. Bye.